Hello, and welcome to our webinar on using new fabric and AI features for better Power BI reports for project data. This webinar is going to be a short demonstration of how new Copilot and Fabric features can improve the answers that you get from AI and also enhance your creativity for producing better and more informative visuals to help you analyze your data. <clears throat> I'm going to demonstrate this using data from our demo project online site. My name is Jeff Post, and I'm a senior technical architect at AdviceCon. I've been working with Microsoft AI technologies since 2023. First of all, however, um, what I have done is I've created a Microsoft Fabric data agent um, that I'm going to add to Power BI in a moment. And what this agent is, is basically just a list of project property types, property names, and property definitions to give Power BI a little more information about what exactly it's working with. Okay, so let's go to Power BI Desktop now. Um, the way that we would add this data agent, which has already been added in this case, but I'll just briefly show you how. We go to One Lake Big Catalog, I go to Lake Houses, I pick my lake house and connect to it. And then I go in and pick the one that I want to add. In this case, we'll pick the one where I've incorporated spaces into the names. And I've got another one where it's camel case uh, uh, property names. But anyway, we'll use the, this one. I've already loaded it, so I won't go through this again. Um, but when I did load it, I got it to import it directly into, uh, into the data model here. So let's just cancel out of this and I'll show you where that shows up. And here we have over here, our project uh, online properties with um, the definitions. Okay, so that is um, a fabric data agent that's been added. Also, um, there's things you can do like adding additional data for the AI to understand what, um, what different things mean. In this case, I've created a set of AI, AI instructions which show the AI how we think of project success, how we measure it. So there's a bunch of AI instructions here. I've added them to the uh, AI and I won't add them again. It's already there. Uh, close that for now. Now, how did I get those AI instructions? Okay, so let's go to Let's go here. I previously created in Copilot Studio a project info expert, and it has different types of sources, Power BI, uh, documentation from Microsoft, project documentation by, from Microsoft, property definitions and spaces, and the project management book of knowledge from the uh, Project Management Institute. So then what I did is I asked it a question. I said, design a prompt using the Power BI Project Info Expert in Copilot Studio for Power BI for analyzing the relative success of projects. And it came back and said, okay, here's a prompt for doing that. Um, basically then what I did is I cut and pasted that prompt into uh, Power BI desktop, which is what we saw a moment ago. Okay, now let's uh, just uh, go back here for a second and take a look at what happens if we do have ambiguity. For example, before I had done that in Power BI Desktop, the, it did not have any AI instructions, it did not have any definitions of what the project properties were. <clears throat> and they asked this question, what is the most successful project? And I came back and it said, well, hey, that's, that's too vague. Um, I don't really know what you mean by success. Do you mean this or this or this or what? So um, we have provided it with a set of criteria to give us better answers. So let's go back to Power BI Desktop again. So let's ask the question. We bring up Copilot. We can ask the question, what is the most successful project? Click on it. Go 
goes out, it thinks about it, makes its considerations based upon the information that we've given it, and it comes up with a much better answer. It has some ideas about what's successful now, and these are the answers it gives us. So, all right. So that is good. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to ask another question. <clears throat> demonstrate another feature of this uh, newer version of uh, Power BI Desktop. And the question we're going to ask is, what risks in our portfolio have a cost exposure greater than $20,000? Oops, let's collect risks. Okay, so let's ask that question. I notice that we're on this report right now. It's not really about risks. I'm going to ask the question. Okay, so it comes up with a set of risks. And note that we didn't go to the risks um, report to ask that. We could have, but now it will look at the whole semantic model and not just um, try and get answers from a, a single report. That's extremely valuable. Okay, so the next thing we would do is we would uh, take our Power BI desktop now that we've got everything like we want it to be, and we would uh, publish it to our workspace. And I've already done that, so I'm not gonna do it again here, but I published it to my uh, JP Copilot workspace, and uh, we won't make any changes. We'll just cancel and we'll uh, get out of this. Okay, so we published it to our Copilot workspace. Now let's bring up our Copilot workspace. Here's my Copilot workspace. And you can see that I've got a report and a semantic model in here. So let's pick the semantic model. We'll click on more options. And let's view insights. So by viewing insights, we can see the, the AI is going out and it's trying to find interesting stuff about our, our data. So that's uh, that's really good. That's helping us figure things out without having to go in there and spend time pouring through the data ourselves. So, okay, so now that we've got this type of data that's showing us, let's try and make something of it. Okay, let's use assignment percent work completed. And... Um, we could go off and we could uh, pin this to a visual. If I pin it to a visual and I try and do that, I can see that I've already got a dashboard that I've named PO Insights. And in fact, I have already pinned this visual to the dashboard before. So we won't do that now. What we'll do is we'll cancel out of this and we'll pin a visual to it that uh, I haven't pinned to uh, the dashboard yet. And let's take, for example, I don't know, Average of project actual costs. Let's pin this visual. And pin it to that dashboard. Say pin. Then we can go to the dashboard and look at it. So we've got all these visuals pinned to our dashboard, which may be interesting to us that we want to look at continually in the future. So we can subscribe to this dashboard that we've created. We can share it. We can edit it. And we can... Um, We've got a, uh, some creativity that's come right out of the software itself and has uh, found some interesting things for us. Okay, so that's uh, creating insights and creating an insights dashboard. Okay, so let's do uh, something else to uh, find some creativity here. Let's go back to our workspace, JP Copilot workspace, and let's click on more options again. In this case, let's go to auto create report. <clears throat> so it's going to go off and it's going to look at the whole semantic model and it's going to try and find an interesting report. And let's view this report now. And so it's come up with some, uh, some different visuals on a fairly interesting report. Um, in this case, it's uh, sum of project costs by stage name. Okay. And um, maybe that's interesting to us. 
So bring this over here. Maybe it's interesting to us, but if it isn't, what we can do is we can we can change that. Maybe sum of project cost by stage name isn't all that interesting. Maybe sum of project cost by project owner would be more interesting. So let's go down to project owner name here and add the project owner name in. So now we've got that. And then let's go down here and take out stage name. And it's adapted the, uh, the visual for us. So now we've got a sum of project cost by owner name. We can see that uh, these different owners have uh, different amounts of project cost, which again may be interesting for us in knowing just uh, who's uh, running up the greatest costs in our project portfolio. Now, maybe um, we uh, we want to uh, get something a little more interesting visually for us. So let's go in and say, edit this. I'll switch to edit mode. It says um, you lose access to the data pane. That's okay. We picked our data already. And um, I think I want basically a stack column chart instead of a, a horizontal co a column chart. So let's go ahead and click that. And it gives us a stack column chart. Great. But maybe I really want something different. I can go in and even create a, a donut chart. Like Then I've got uh, that visual. So basically, you can go in and make changes and customize things and check things out and uh, see what it is that you really want to see with all these new features that have been uh, added to uh, Power BI with looking at the whole semantic model with AI. Okay, let's do one last thing here. And let's go to uh, our workspace again. And we won't save it. And let's click more options again. And let's say, create report. In this case, it gives us a blank canvas and we can go in and we can pick things uh, right from the start. So let's say we just want to get a list of our projects. So let's do that. Let's go and pick, um, let's expand this a bit. Let's go and pick a uh, project name. So we've got project name on there. Let's pick the project owner name as well. So we know who's responsible for it. And let's kick, uh, click, um, let's see. Oh, I don't know, project cost in this case. So we've done that. Um, we can expand our table here. And we can see we've got a fairly simple um, table that we've created. Expand it to see if there's more information there. And we can go on and we can add more information here into the report and we can make changes and we could um, edit it with um, different types of uh, visuals as well. So that um, gives us an example of what we can do with um, with reporting. We can also go in and take a look at if we're, we're not sure of the data that we're really dealing with, although we've got it listed over here, we can then go back to our Copilot workspace and click on more options again. And let's open the data model and take a look at it and just see the structure of what we're dealing with here. So now we can see that we've got a, a data model structure that, that it's showing us. And um, that, can be, uh, that can be interesting in helping us, again, go in and analyze more uh, about uh, our data. So to summarize, there's considerably more power and ease of use to enable your creativity with the latest fabric and AI enhancements in Power BI. So we've reached the end of our presentation, and if you have any questions or need further information, AdviseCon can clarify any uncertainties to deepen your understanding of the topics that we discussed, hopefully leading to new insights for you and your business. Thanks for your time in viewing this video, and watch for a follow-on webinar in creating fabric data agents. Thank you.